This video demonstrates the flexibility of the Triangle Microworks IEC 61850 source code libraries. These libraries are designed from the ground up to be very efficient and to easily scale from low-cost embedded systems to much larger processor-intensive systems. In this demo, our IEC 61850 source code library is running on a low-cost ARM processor, in this case, the Texas Instruments BeagleBone. We designed the CAPE, or I.O. card, to plug into the BeagleBone. The CAPE has switches to simulate operating a breaker and LEDs to show its status. We'll be using two BeagleBone boards, each with the CAPE. On one board, the lower switch puts the breaker into failed test mode. A second switch signals the board that an overcurrent condition has occurred. The board responds by simulating a breaker failure and sending goose messages. The second board simulates the next breaker up the line. This board receives the goose messages, recognizes the downstream breaker has failed, and opens its breaker. The open condition is shown via the LED lights. Here I have Hammer, the 61850 client and Goose subscriber component of the 61850 test suite. In this demo, Hammer has subscribed to Goose messages from the BeagleBone boards. I will clear the Goose message display and then we'll run the demo. First, I'll push the button, which will tell the device to open the breaker. However, it will simulate a breaker failure. It will turn on the fail light, and then on this board, we'll see the upstream breaker open as it receives and processes the goose messages. So here we go. Notice the fail and the breaker opened. And if we look at Hammer, we can see the goose message being sent from the board that caused the upstream device to open the breaker. So this demo showed a simulation of a breaker fail condition, sending goose messages, receiving those goose messages and processing them, and responding to a downstream breaker fail condition, all running on our IEC 61850 source code library on a low-cost ARM processor.